You're watching PNN, the Parody News Network. <laughs> Hello and welcome to PNN. I'm Thackeray Dennison. We have breaking news at the top of the hour. A female trio called the Salem Soul Suckers has come seemingly out of nowhere to climb to the number one spot on the Billboard charts. Senior correspondent Thora Binks had the opportunity to interview them and is here with us today to tell their story. Thora, are you there? Yes, thank you, Thackeray. I'm here reporting live from Salem, Massachusetts with the tale of the infamous Sanderson sisters. They are back from the dead once again, and they have formed a singing group after reminiscing how much fun they had performing I Put a Spell on You back in 1993. They were signed to Black Cat Productions and have a newly released album titled The Black Flame Candle. I'm sorry, I may have misheard you there, Thora. Did you say the Sanderson sisters came back from the dead? I did, yes. And for a second time? Yes, that's right, Thackeray. Once again, another young adolescent trying to impress a girl lit the Black Flame Candle. Black Flame Candle, what, what is that? The Black Flame Candle is a dark, magical candle made from the fat of a hanged man. It's what brought the witches back from the dead in the first place. In order for it to work, it needs to be lit on Halloween night during a full moon by a virgin. Jesus Christ. No, that's another coming back from the dead story with a different virgin. No, no, that's that's not what I... Anyway. Yes, anyway. The Salem Soul Suckers classify themselves as a feminist rock group influenced by the likes of Stevie Nicks and Bette Midler. They're in the middle of a national tour, which is why they can't be here with us today. The tour is wildly popular, though not without some controversy. What sort of controversy? Well, in an attempt to remain immortal in 1993, they tried sucking the lives out of all the young children in Salem. Huh. Even Ozzy never tried that. Joining us now is Max Butcherson, who claims to have almost been victimized by the Sanderson sisters back in 1993 and is not happy that the witches are back and trying to make a name for themselves in the music industry. Max, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Thora. When I was a kid, these three weirdos put me in a trance. They made me sleepwalk to their home where they were brewing up a potion to suck the life out of me and all my friends so they could live forever. Thankfully, they failed, but now they're on a tour that's going to bring them to cities across the country where more unsuspecting children could be subjected to the same treatment? How irresponsible is that? It seems incredibly irresponsible, Max. I can understand why you're so upset. And another thing, these bitches... Well, Max may not be a fan, but we have someone standing by who most definitely is. Danny Parker just got out of a meet and greet with the Sanderson sisters and is standing right outside of Cauldron Arena. Danny, can you tell us why you have such a great love for the Salem Soul Suckers? Hi, Thora. I just met the band for the first time, and they were amazing. I'm so excited to see them perform. I love Winifred's voice, I'm obsessed with Sarah's style, and Mary is so funny. I've been waiting for this concert for months. I can't stop listening to their new album. I, I love Wind Beneath My Broom, I love Dead Man's Toe, I love Maka Maka Mania. Danny? Are you alright? Yes, of course I am, Thora. I want what's best for the band and will do whatever it takes to keep them successful. Whatever it takes to help them live forever. Well, Thackeray, it looks like the Sandersons are at it again. Will they ever learn? Some folks never do, Thora. Thanks for that report. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. You've been watching PNN. The Parody News Network.